This is Kat Kerr of Revealing Heaven, and I have to tell you about this revelation. You know what? Heaven is the most fun place you'll ever live in your life. Did you ever think of that? Most people, and including the world, think heaven is going to be so boring, they don't even want to go there. Most believers actually say, what in the world am I going to do for eternity? What is it going to do up there besides bowing to God and maybe singing some songs with the choirs in heaven, sitting on a cloud with a harp? Guess what? You don't get a harp when you go to heaven unless you already play one. You know, maybe if you want one to decorate your mansion, you might give you one. But what are you going to do with it anyway? Uh, the reason my hair is pink, by the way, I forget that a lot. God himself asked me to have pink hair. For the, for the reason that you will know heaven is going to be a whole lot more different than we thought it was, he takes me nonstop on tours of heaven so you can know what's really there. And the thing he asked me, the very first thing he said is, your assignment is to make heaven so real they could feel like they could live there and they have to know it is going to be fun. He did tell you you had to be like a little child to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And he didn't say that because it was going to be sober and profound and serious. He said that because you will act and feel like a little kid. I see people getting out of transports and chariots and just running in circles, yelling and laughing. They're so excited because it's so much more amazing than they thought it would be. You'll see people celebrating, dancing in the streets, uh, just grabbing everybody and hugging them. And you have parties everywhere in heaven. Heaven created parties, okay? We didn't make them on this earth. They did. They celebrate over everything. And so there is a lot of fun in the house. And I say house because you know what the word says, in my father's house are many mansions. And people have this idea of a lot of rooms crammed inside of a big building. Forget that. His house would be the world called heaven. How big is it? So big that they have angels in heaven bigger than our planet. So let me take you out of your box today and share some of the fun places he's shown me in heaven. Yes, they have movie theaters in heaven. They invented it. We didn't. They have fantastic, exciting, intense, uh, hilarious movies in heaven. If you ever wanted to be, you get to be. You go in the one door of the theater and sit and watch the movie, or you go down the hall in another door, and you literally step into the movie, you're in the movie acting. So how about that? That's a whole lot better than down here on this earth, isn't it? A lot of fun, exciting movies that are shown on the earth actually make it to heaven, but they do have some certain criteria you have to meet. You never see anything defiling, disgusting, vile, no sexual content, no profanity, no crude humor. Isn't that wonderful? Just think, anyone can go see the movies in heaven. I think they need to get a clue on this earth, okay? If they want it shown in heaven, they better straighten out a little bit of those things. But I can tell you, they have amazing movies in heaven. They have an amusement park in heaven where you can ride on carousels where the animals are alive. They don't have a post to them. They have like a little platform that goes up and down. Your kids get to ride on elephants and porpoises and baby dinosaurs and unicorns. The real thing, okay? You think they, you want to know what your kids are doing in heaven if they're there? They're riding the carousels in heaven. They're eating the cotton candy and the candied apples and popcorn and pies. And yeah, they do get some other stuff stuff too. But you know what? Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a sweet tooth in heaven. Heaven was made for you. There's no food allergies, no weight gain. Uh, your children, if they're children, they get hoverboards. They go together in groups all over heaven, even around the age of five. They can't get lost. They're not going to get hurt. There's so many exciting things for them to do. They even have a place called cartoon village and you can just guess what happens there you get to create your own cartoon and then you're in the cartoon as a cartoon isn't that fun just think i think every kid living in heaven has probably experienced that you say how can that possibly be because it's not earth all right we're natural people here in heaven you're a supernatural eternal being and you do supernatural things they have a a place called christmas town in heaven i've mentioned it before you you like snowball fights and skiing and ice skating you go to Christmas Town. When you go into a new place in heaven, there's buildings. You walk through those buildings, put on the, the outfit you need to enjoy that part. Everything fits you. There's no 10 different sizes. It just conforms to your being. You go on uh, sleigh rides, have hot cocoa, uh, have huge snowball fights. You enjoy that part of heaven. God wanted it to be fun so you can enjoy your life. No one is resting in heaven. They need to, they need to wipe RIP off the tombstones and they need to say enjoying the party or riding the rush. Or, or that's what they're doing in heaven. You know, that's the reality of being in heaven. 
There's uh, places in heaven where you can go. It's like the Amazon jungle or the rainforest, and all the animals in those places will actually talk to you. Nothing's going to harm you. You can, uh, you can go to sports in, he in heaven and have fun doing that. All the sports in heaven are played as worship. There's three scoreboards, not two, and Jesus gets all the points, so there's even more competition in heaven. But you know what? You can hit that ball a lot further in heaven than you can on this earth. So a lot of people, you're going to enjoy your life in heaven. You'll have more fun than you ever did here with your family, with your friends. You know, God doesn't keep fun out of heaven. He made it a big part of heaven. So I hope that one day you'll make your choice to belong to God, to live in heaven for eternity, and then eventually on the new earth, which is going to be even more fun. I want you to know there is going to be fun in the house when you get to heaven. So you be blessed. And you can go to my website, revealingheaven.com, if you want to know more information. And have fun. It's good to laugh.